Hi guys, welcome to the Java class. In today's session, you will learn this keyword and its use in Java programming language. This keyword is a reference variable that refers to the current object of a class. This keyword can be used within an instance method or a constructor to refer to the current object on which the method or constructor is involved. This keyword has multiple uses in Java programming language. But in this session, you will learn the first use of this keyword. That is how it is used to refer to the current object instance variable. Let us understand with the help of a programming example. So here you can see we have created a package name. This uses one. And inside it, we have created a class car that contains two instance variable, the model and the A. Inside it, we have a method that is set details which help us to set the instance variable of a class that is model and year. This is the display method that will display the details of a car. And this is the main class where we are just setting the instance variable and calling the method. And here you can see the output of it. So here we have not used the, this keyword inside the code. In such type of codes we have discussed multiple times in the previous sections. So what is the utilization of this keyword? This keyword is used where the local variables and the instance variable both are same. So let us make it clear, right? So here inside the set details method, we are using the string m and string y. So let me just show you if you will use your string model and you will write here int year and you will do a small change here that is model and year, right? So let's see what will be the change and what will be the effect on the output. So you can see here this model and this year, these are the instance variable and this model and this year, which is present inside a set details method is known as the local variable. So here the local variables and instance variable both are same. So first let me just show you the output. You will run it and you will see the output. So right now just it is showing the car model is null and the year is zero. So it is just displaying the default values of the instance variable. And why it is showing the default values and why it is not able to set the car model that is Honda Civic and the year is 2008. So here you can see the local variable and the instance variable both are the same. In such situations, the local variable hides the instance variable and the value of the instance variable will not be set or available outside this method. So when local variable hides the instance variable, that concept is known as instance variable hiding in Java programming language. So how will you refer which one is the instance variable and which one is the local variable? So you can see the first use of this is to refer to the current object instance variable. So here you will use the this keyword, this dot model. So here, what is this? This is a reference variable which refer to the instance variable of a current class. Current class is here where it is declared, right? So here you are writing this dot model. So what is the meaning of it? This dot model is the instance variable and on the right side this model is the local variable so whenever you will just save your program you will run it again so it will display the output and it will display the car model that is the honda civic and the year it is still showing zero because we have not applied the this keyword on this variable year right so let me apply the this keyword here this dot year so this dot year whenever you will write it means it is the instance variable of a current class. That's why we can see that this keyword or this is a reference variable which is used to refer to the instance variable of a current class. So this is the magic you can see. You will just save it and you will run it and you will see the output. It will set the values like car model is Honda Civic and the year is 2008. So this is the use of this keyword. So this keyword can be use inside a instance method or it can be used inside a constructor also. 
So here in this program, we have used the method to set instance variable value. You can use the, this keyword inside the constructor also. Let me just do a small change here and I will just remove it and I will just use the constructor in place of method. So I will use here car and this is the car constructor is the member function of a class that has the same name as the name of class itself. It doesn't have return type and it is invoked automatically when object of a class is created. So here the constructor is provided and the rest code will be the same. And you are using this dot model is equal model. This dot year is equal. Year. So right now you have to do a small change here. So these parameters you can provide using the constructor here, right? And no need to use this set details method, right? So whenever this object of a class car is created, it will automatically call this constructor and will set the values of their instance variable like model is Honda Civic and the year is 2008. Now you will just call this method, you will just run it and you will get the output. So this is the output of this program. So this is the first use of this keyword where this is used to refer to the current object instance variable and maximum time it is used whenever you the local variables and the instance variable both are same and local variable hides the instance variable and this concept is known as the instance variable hiding. So in those scenarios, you will use the, this keyword to refer to the current instance of a class. So guys, this is for the day and in the next video lesson, you will learn the second use of this keywords. So guys, bye-bye for now. I'll see you in the next class. Good night.